you know, it's funny. I expected nobody to watch my previous video, mostly because it was incoherent rambling. But uh, <clears throat> here we are today. So anyways, I'm hyped up on sugar and soda. So I wanted to make a video kind of just clarifying something. I found this out after I recorded and uploaded the video, and I feel like a little bit of an idiot, but I feel like there needs clarification here. So for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> and I did mention it in a comment, but RuneLite is not really, I don't want to say official, but it's not really a third-party client. I think the best way to put it is it's like a hybrid between third-party and official, where I, it's like technically third-party, but it's endorsed by Jagex. A good example of this is if you play EverQuest, you'll know you you'll probably know of Project 1995. If you know what that is, it, it's basically that. Where it's made by third party devs, but it's officially endorsed by the developers. That's that's basically what it is. And so that's RuneLite. So RuneLite isn't going anywhere for anyone who might be worried that the new update is going to kill RuneLite because there's a new client and they're getting rid of the Java edition, etc. They're not going to get rid of RuneLite. RuneLite it seems like RuneLite's going to be here to stay. Jagex stated in a Reddit thread, I, they could have definitely done it somewhere else, I'll be completely honest. But of course, Jagex, they make an important uh, distinction like that on a comment on a Reddit thread. Not even a post, a comment on a Reddit thread. So, <clears throat> you know, go figure. That being said, they they said that RuneLite is going to be using the new client and not the Java client, and it's going to be here to stay. So for anyone who is worried... You don't have to worry. RuneLite is here to stay. And to be honest, I can't imagine it going anywhere. If Jagex is already going through this much effort to keep it around, then I can't imagine them getting rid of it. And my prediction is a little bit different, but basically the same, where I think they're going to... Fucking stop. Sorry, my cat's being a bitch. Uh, I think that they're going to basically... There's no more... like oh, I think OSHD is gone now. I think that's my understanding. I could be wrong, but I'm going to assume that OSHD is going to be gone. I could be wrong. But my understanding is that there's really going to be no more third third party clients uh, if there really was any left. Because I know they did some like purging where they aren't technically allowed anymore other than like a couple. But I think they're basically going to be, it's like, it's basically no more. And they're only going to have people running on the <clears throat> the new client. Additionally, I will say my my uh, kind of talking about it being run on a new client that's not Java, I think that's really good because it'll allow Jagex to... Sorry, I was drinking more soda. It'll allow Jagex to... I don't want to say easier to detect bots because I feel like that might be a, a bold assumption. But I think it'll allow Jagex to have a better time determining in the beginning, determining who's a bot and who's not a bot. Because for years, old school has used the Java client. And if they move away from that, that means they can probably have a little bit of an easier time collecting data on bots. And it'll probably be a little bit easier for them to detect bots. I'm not saying this from experience. This is pure speculation. But I think they're going to do that. Also, whether or not... Um, I think the biggest thing is whether or not apps uh, or whether or not the plugins are going to be open sourced or closed source is actually a really kind of interesting uh, discussion. I think the biggest thing that comes with this is a lot of the apps on the official client are probably going to be closed source or not apps. The plugins are probably going to be closed source. They're not going to have to be open sourced like they are now on RuneLite. But if you still want to use open source ones, you can still use the RuneLite ones, it seems. Um, I mean, who knows, right? I, who knows? Uh, only the future will tell. Honestly, I don't really feel like looking too much more into it. I've already done more research into an old school client. I'm probably never going to use that. <laughs> I honestly probably would have liked. But I, I'm going to be honest. Something like this genuinely excites me because it, it, in my opinion, and I could be snorting massive amounts of copium right now, but to me, it just feels like it means there's a possibility that RuneScape 3 might potentially get client updates. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Is there a better chance than there was before? I would say yes. I would, Especially with the new poll where they were asking about people whether or not they wanted MTX in the game or not anymore. By the way, if you haven't filled that poll out for RuneScape 3, fill it out and give your honest opinion, which is most likely no more MTX. Uh, I'm just saying. But yeah, they had questions for MTX. It's probably going to fall on deaf ears, but 
if enough people answer in ways that they support with and with the questions in a way that they can, you know, be okay with, then I would say I don't see why it won't be a possibility on the table. But if they can at least pull them back, I think that's good. Anyways, that's enough talking about RuneScape. I'm going to go back to grinding out some Din Arrows in RuneScape 3. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.